over here at Thunder Valley. They're having small tire, big tire, daily driver, two street. We're at the driver meet. We're gonna check stuff out, and then we're gonna see some drag racing on the top end. It's been a while since we've been on the top end here. I think Clash of the Concrete with the same organizer, Big Mark. All right, guys. We'll check it out. Let's check it out. So we can have drivers kind of come to the front. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, non-drivers that are down here going on. But if we get all the drivers kind of come towards the front right here, guys, all the drivers. All right, if we can get close enough, I can turn that stupid megaphone off and we can just do this normal. So drivers to the front, and then I can put this thing down. Hey guys, thank you all for coming out here tonight. The meaning of this race not only is stupidity, which we're getting ready to take part in, but this is about Nick and Larry and our track. So I know people have traveled from quite far distances. Some people have just traveled from the hill up here. But I wanted to thank you all for coming and taking part in what we're all doing. I'm on y'all's team tonight. This is for Nick and Larry. I'm going to just start off with a hand for Nick and Larry. Thank you for what you all have done. The race right here, Jesse's going to help go over the rules because I'm going to be yelling and everything uh, also. But it starts at the exact 1320 of the track. We are going towards the sandbox. Um, it's pimp juice burnout. Um, really, I say probably pimp juice only. Uh, if you start mixing, you know, of course, it's going to turn into a problem. Um, but guys, I need everybody to understand we've had a, a problem here before. And for the love of God, please don't let it happen again. But if you have a chase vehicle, it can take you down, push you down, whatever it needs to do, but just do not go through the pimp juice uh, puddles, but go through the center and kind of make yourself w way down there. What he's trying to say, guys, there's no chase lane tonight. There's people going to be standing on it. There's so going to be standing right down the, the track with your chase vehicle, and the chase vehicle will follow you down. Or it can make a U-turn and come back out this way and get you the long way. We yeah. prefer a U-turn. Yeah, we prefer U-turns because you're going to drive through the pimp juice and make a mess, probably. So I would come back, go back into the pits, to retrieve your vehicle down that way is what I'm recommending. I know it's kind of a hard deal, but it will not get more simulated raw, you know, street material than what's down there. So um, there is a transition. Uh, most of the is going to be concrete. About the last, I believe, 200 feet is asphalt. Uh, there is a transition. People have tested on it. But again, guys, this is uh, one of them deals that you're going to have to uh, adjust for the circumstances. Um, guys, there's plenty of stopping room. The finish line is just past the first turn. So you've got almost 2,000 feet of stopping room. So 2,001, you will be in the gravel, the gravel. to be exact. So there's a little reflector if you see it. <laughs> you've gone, did you hit the rocks, you've gone too far. <laughs> no, just let off the brakes at that moment. Um,
Tech cards. Yeah. And I, I can't do small tire or big tire. <laughs> 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 Get me out of the way, Mark. Yeah. 